Good morning, everybody. It is day three here in Berlin. It is our final day. We are flying back to the UK uh, later on tonight at like nine o'clock. Um, we've got a massively packed schedule today. We're gonna head straight to Checkpoint Charlie, um, which is the world's most famous checkpoint. Um, and then around that area, there's tons and tons of stuff that you can do. We're in a bit of a rush. We need to check out of our lovely bunk bedroom today. Um, yeah, we're gonna head out now and uh, we will see you guys when we get to Checkpoint Charlie. Checkpoint Charlie, which is just behind me there. I think there's some sort of museum here, as you can see. This has got information about Checkpoint Charlie all the way down in these walls, which is really, really cool. Where are we going next? I don't know. Beth has been in charge for the most part of uh, basically organising a lot of this trip. She's been my producer. Um, she's extremely good at it. She gets me places from A to B and just lets me film. It's fantastic. I'm very, very grateful. The best. She's the best. Oh, that's nice. We are heading to the Jewish Museum. We are. Jewish Museum it is. Let's go. If you a man who can barely stand, tell him I'll go something for him and make sure he understands. 99 models sat on the wall, I'm looking for a man who emptied the mall. Okay, so we are just arriving now at the Jewish Museum. Um, it's an incredible building, as everything always seems to be in Berlin. Let me show you. Uh, we'll go in there and we're going to see what it is and, and see what it's like. I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite moving, so trying to prepare ourselves. Okay, so we have just finished uh, up at the Jewish Museum, which is behind us. Um, it was a little bit different than what I expected. It wasn't necessarily just focused on what had happened uh, to Berlin and what happened to the Jewish community during the uh, World War II and during the Nazi period. It was actually just a generic Jewish museum. So there was like galleries there, there was um, exhibitions there that were just to do with like, you know, the Jewish culture, the Jewish community. Yeah, it was, it was actually really, really good. It was a little, it was very informative. There were small snippets of kind of um, what it was like to live in Nazi Germany. It was extremely moving. They just had these small pieces of um, history that were like letters written to family members from people that were like murdered in Auschwitz. And it was, it was extremely compelling and extremely moving to, to look at. Um, and I'll put a little bit of, like you guys would have seen those little black boxes. They just had those small parts of um, Jewish history in them. And it was, it was very moving. So we are now going to head to the Topography Museum, so we will see you shortly. And we are here, we are at the Topography Des Terrors, which is basically the museum that highlights all of the Nazi terror that happened to the Jewish community. Um, I believe it might be the rest of the world as well, I'm not 100% sure, we haven't been in yet. Behind us is an old segment of the Berlin Wall, which we've just walked all the way across. Beth, thoughts? What? Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. Goodness. You try, you try, you try, but she doesn't listen to what I've got to say. Can you blame her? She spends all day, every day with me, bless her. But yeah, that's the Berlin Wall, it's pretty cool. As always, I do not think I'm gonna be able to bring the camera in here, um, obviously, expectedly. Um, so I will just try and shoot a small little bit on my phone and show you guys, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit afterwards and a little bit about what there was um, before we head to the next location. But yeah, I'm gonna go in there now. In a bit, guys, bye-bye. So we have just finished up at the Topography uh, Des Terrors Museum. Um, it was very, very informative. It was obviously very kind of sad. Uh, there was a lot, a lot of history about the Nazis, not just in terms of how they terrorized the Jewish community, but how they terrorized the, the German communities and people that didn't agree with their policies and their politics. Um, it was very, very informative. And I learned a lot about Nazi Germany that I had no idea about. And it was completely free of charge. So you should go in there and you should check it out. We're about to head to the Jewish Memorial and we will see you there in just a second. Okay, so we have just arrived at the Jewish Memorial. Absolutely amazing. Um, 
it's a fantastic memorial for those that lost their lives and I don't know really anything about it so as we get here I'm just kind of going to look around explore it a little bit um, maybe take a few little videos but I'm going to put the camera away because it feels extremely disrespectful to have this massive camera out filming shooting selfies or anything like that we don't want to do that we just kind of want to walk around and pay our respects and everything like that so yeah I'm going to put the camera away but as you can see it really is something to withhold um, but yeah we're going to walk around and we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have just finished up at the Jewish Memorial. Um, that was absolutely outstanding and it was a fantastic way to commemorate those that lost their lives. Well, the best way probably to commemorate that, I'd imagine. Um, it's obviously extremely sad. Um, what I will say is just a little bit of history on it. It was 25 million euros and it's designed and each of the concrete slabs are completely different. It's designed to represent instability. So because each of the concrete slabs are different sizes, pointing in different directions, etc., it's meant to represent the instability that the, Jew the Jewish community must have felt during such a horrendous time. Um, it, was, it was really powerful. There's a load of history on it. There's a fantastic museum downstairs as well that you can venture into, um, so I do suggest doing that. Um, we have just arrived. I believe this is the Brandenburg Gate, and it's amazing. It looks absolutely outstanding, and uh, I'm going to go and have a little adventure around now, have a little look around, and yeah. And just behind this is the Reichstag Museum, which we're going to go to afterwards. So we will see you after we've finished up at this and the Reichstag Museum, and I will talk to you as we go and find some dinner. In a bit, guys. She's putting the hat on. The hat is on. Hat time. Right. Okay. So, I am so much happier now that I'm warm. Beth, you still got her hands in her pockets. Yeah, well, I've got cold hands and my pockets make them warm. Should have bought gloves. Yeah, I know, but I don't need them. Maybe the number one recommendation is to just bring gloves to Berlin bring if you come gloves. in January. Bring hat, bring coat, and everything warm you own. Oh, maybe how warm why have they gone out of fashion? Because they were very helpful. I don't think they've gone out of fashion. I think My dad actually should... still has them. He puts them on the hob every morning. Your dad puts them Shout on... out Chris Holmes. There you go. Get wax them on the hob. Did not know that. <laughs> he does. Um, learn something new every day, I eh? think it's because he goes to astronomy. Oh, yeah, good point. Chris goes to astronomy, so... Right, um, we are going to head back towards uh, the Berlin Mall, which is... A... Jesus Christ. Absolute wild cyclist flying past. Um, yeah, we are. We just finished up at the the Reichstag, and they are fantastic buildings, by yeah. the way. They are outstanding. You can literally see it behind me. I didn't get too many shots of it, but you know, you're just walking along, and everything looks so gorgeous and looks so beautiful. It's it's stunning. Gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we are walking back towards the Berlin Mall. Yeah, it is yeah. where our train will be which will take us back to the uh, airport. And we're gonna go there, we're gonna get some food there, we're gonna get some dinner there. Um, and then yeah, then we're gonna jump on a train. So so yeah, we will see you guys shortly. And when we get to the airport, I will do a review of not just day three, but Berlin in general as always. I'll give you a breakdown of the cost. So I'll see you guys when we're there. Let's go to a mall and do our favorite thing and get some food. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. You're ready. God, it's good to have gloves on. Everybody's end up in a straight line, straight line, straight line. That's the way we do it in this life. But you can dodge on, you can dodge on. Everybody's end up in a So 
So we are in Berlin, Schönefeld Airport. What do I think of the third day in Berlin? Day three in Berlin was very, very special. Uh, we went to see all the monuments that Berlin's most famous for. We did a lot of the stuff that was um, that I've covered over in history when I was younger. We did a lot about like, World War II, about Nazi Germany, and of course, that's incredibly compelling, incredibly moving, seeing all the memorials to all those people. So I am, um, I'm very pleased we went, but at the same time, it was definitely, um, a day to kind of remember and a day to think about others. Yeah, it definitely lived up to its expectation um, and I, I'm very, very, very impressed with it all. Um, it was a really, really cheap day for us here. It didn't cost us much at all. Like most of the stuff we saw was just sites, similar to like London, like Buckingham Palace or something like Trafalgar Square. You just kind of go and see them. So um, it didn't cost that much money. And um, I suppose I've kind of finished the video giving you guys a review and the cost of the entire experience in Berlin. I absolutely loved Berlin. It's very, very vibrant. It's got tons of stuff to do you could be here a lot longer my recommendation is actually probably stay maybe one more night um, just to give yourself maybe half a day longer to go and do all those things and um, it can be extremely tiring as well um, another recommendation is to get a Berlin welcome card I think it's called a Berlin City welcome card I think I'm not 100% sure but that Berlin welcome card offers you free transport on all three days and also offers you discounts to get into all of the places that we went to the best thing about Berlin hands down without question is the price this entire the entire trip cost Beth and I £300 in total, £150 each. That's for flights, accommodation, um, excursions, food, everything. £300. That is insanity. That is so cheap. I never expected it to be that cheap and it's made my day that it is. We had absolutely so much fun. So, as always, thank you so much to everybody for all the support um, and all the comments and everything like that. I am so grateful to have such a wonderful network of people that are so supportive of everything that I've been doing. Um, also, quick one, massive, 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 massive shout out to Bethany. I'm playing Sims, don't let people see. <laughs> Um, huge, huge shout out to her. She actually planned a lot of this trip, if not all of this trip. I was super busy in the lead up to this trip, editing and stuff like that. So she took care of it all and it was outstanding. If you guys enjoyed this content and you guys enjoyed seeing where we went, then we all owe a massive thank you to her. You're so cute. Because she did it all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you to her. And if you haven't already, make sure you do follow my Instagram, James Sawyer underscore. All of what we're doing and all of where we let people vote and where we decide and where we go is all done through there. I'm hosting polls a lot of the time to find out what you guys want to see, and that will continue throughout the holidays. That's about it, really. Berlin, you've been wonderful. We've had an amazing time. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe, share, like, do all the good stuff that helps me out. I'm very, very grateful for it always. And and I will see you guys next week for some crazy shenanigans in a country that you guys don't know yet. See you in a bit, guys. I love you lots. Derry